In this video, we will try some College Board multiple choice questions pertaining to logarithmic modeling. This is AP Precalculus Topic 2.14. If you appreciate this content, please give it a like. Number one is Calculator Active. The Richter scale is a numerical scale that uses base 10 logarithms for measuring an earthquake's magnitude. The larger the number, the more intense the earthquake. As intensities increase multiplicatively by a factor of 10, the Richter scale increases additively by 1. Consider two earthquakes that occurred in the year 2022. An earthquake in Indonesia had a magnitude of 5.1, and an earthquake in Mexico had a magnitude of 2.5. Approximately how many times more intense was the Indonesia earthquake than the Mexico earthquake? The Indonesia earthquake had a magnitude of 5.1, but the intensity is actually 10 to the 5.1 power. The Mexico earthquake had a magnitude of 2.5, but the intensity was actually 10 to the 2.5 power. If you want to know how many times more intense the Indonesia earthquake was, you need to divide the intensity of the Indonesia earthquake by the intensity of the Mexico earthquake. Kabam! 398.107 times bigger. 398.107 is very close to 400, so the answer is D. Number 2. The function f is logarithmic, and the points 2, 1 and 4, 2 are on the graph of f in the xy plane. Which of the following could define f of x? I'm just going to try these options one at a time until I find the one that gives me the right output value for a given input value. So starting with option a, let's evaluate at x equals 2. This would be log base 4 of 2. The square root of 4 is 2. In other words, 4 to the 1 half power is 2. So this log has an output of 1 half, not 1. So the answer is not A. Option B at x equals 2 would be 2 times the log base 2 of 2. The log base 2 of 2 is 1, so this would have an output value of 2, not 1. So the answer is is not b. Let's evaluate c at x equals 2. This would be 2 times the log base 4 of 2. The log base 4 of 2 is 1 half, as we mentioned, so this would become 2 times 1 half, which equals 1. That is correct, so c might be the answer. Let's see if it works for the input value of 4. Option C at x equals 4 would be 2 times the log base 4 of 4. Log base 4 of 4 is 1, so we would be left with an output value of 2, which is correct. So the answer is C. Number 3 is calculator active. The life expectancy for a human in the United States can be modeled by the function L given by L of x equals 42.53 plus 13.86 times the natural log of x. L of x gives the life expectancy in years for x decades after the year 1900. Based on the model, when is the first time that a human life expectancy is predicted to be 80 years? Note, one decade is 10 years. They are asking us to solve the equation L of x is equal to 80. In other words, we need to solve this equation for x. Let's type in the left side of the equation as y1 in the graphing calculator, and let's type in 80 as y2. The solution to the equation will be the intersection of these two curves. Since one of the curves is a horizontal line at 80, we need to adjust the window so that y max is bigger than 80. Let's make it 100. 
I have no idea how many decades it will take for these lines to intersect. So um, I'm going to leave x max at 10 for now. I can adjust it later if I need to. Let's hit graph. Okay, so I can see that the intersection point is significantly further to the right. So let's go back to the window and let's let x max be 50. And hit graph again. Okay, there's the intersection point. So let's hit second, trace, option five for intersect, move a little bit closer to the point of intersection, and hit enter three times. Enter, enter, enter. 14.931 decades. Remember, X is the number of decades after 1900. So, uh, 14.931 decades is uh, 149.31 years after 1900. Adding 1900 to 149.31, we get 2049.31. So, we are talking about the late 2040s. So, the answer is C. Number four. In a certain town, the population in the year 2000 was about 30,000. The population grows at a rate of 2.3% per year, and time is measured in years since 2000. Which of the following functions gives output values in years since 2000 for input values of the town's population P? This population is growing exponentially. So let's start by writing an exponential model for this situation. The A value represents the initial population, which is 30,000. The B value is the growth factor, which can be found by starting with 100% and adding the 2.3% growth each year. 100% plus 2.3% is 102.3%, written as a decimal, we have 1.023. So this is an exponential model that gives the population P X years after 2000. Notice that the input value is years and the output value is the population. We want to find a function that gives the output value in years while the input value is the town's population. So we need the input value and output value to be reversed. That means we need the inverse of this function. All we have to do is solve this function for x. So let's start by dividing both sides by 30,000. We will have p over 30,000 is equal to 1.023 to the x power. To get rid of the 1.023, we need to take the log base 1.023 of both sides of this equation. On the right hand side, the log base 1.023 cancels out the base 1.023, leaving only x. Now we have a function whose input is the population and whose output is the number of years since 2000. This function matches answer B. Number five, the initial population size of an animal species is measured to be 2000. The population doubles every eight years. Which of the following functions gives the time in years as the output value and a certain number X for the population size as an input value. Let's start by writing an exponential function to model the species population and then we will find the inverse so we can switch the input and output. The initial population size is 2000 so A is 2000. The population doubles every eight years. That means after eight years the population will be 4000. At the point 8, 4,000, the equation becomes 2,000 
times b to the eighth power equals 4,000. Dividing both sides by 2,000, we get b to the eighth power is equal to two. We can cancel out the eight by raising both sides to the one eighth power. So then we get b is equal to two to the one eighths power. Substituting this value for b, we have y equals 2,000 times two to the one eighth power to the x power. When you raise a power to a power, you multiply. So this can be written as two to the x over eight power. This model gives the population of the species after x years. In other words, the input is the time in years and the output is the population. If we want the time to be the output value and the population to be the input value, we need to switch x and y. In this form, x represents the population and y represents the time. We just need to solve this equation for y and see which answer choice it matches. Dividing both sides by 2,000, we have x over 2,000 is equal to two to the y over eight power. We can make the base two go away by doing the log base two of both sides of the equation. So we will have the log base two of x over 2,000 is equal to y over eight. Taking the log base two of a base two cancels out the base two and leaves behind the y over eight. Finally, to get the y by itself, we need to multiply both sides by eight. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the y over here on the left as I do it. But multiplying by eight, we have eight times the log base two of x over 2,000. So let's look back and see which answer choice matches this. And there it is, eight times log base two of x over 2,000. The answer is C. Number six is calculator active. The table gives the height of a tree in feet for selected ages of the tree in years. A logarithmic regression is used to produce a model of the form f of x equals a plus b times the natural log of x, where f of x gives the predicted height in feet at age x years. Based on the model, what is the predicted height of the tree in feet at age 10 years? Hit the stat button and hit enter for edit. Enter the input values in L1 and the output values in L2. To find a logarithmic regression model, hit the stat button and switch to the calc menu. Option nine is natural log regression. So you can either scroll down or just hit the number nine. Before you calculate the regression model, go down to where it says store regression equation and we want to store the equation as y1. An easy way to make the y1 show up right here is to hit alpha trace, enter. Kabam, now hit enter a couple of times and the calculator will come up with the a value and b value of your regression model. This model gives the height of the tree after x years. We need to find the height at age 10, so we need to evaluate f at 10. We have asked the calculator to store the regression model in y1, so we need to evaluate y1 at 10. Again, a quick way to make y1 appear on the calculator is alpha trace enter. To evaluate y1 at 10, simply put 10 in parentheses right next to it and hit enter. So 11.989 if you truncate, 
or 11.990 if you round. So the answer is C. By the way, notice how close some of these other answers were. It's important that you use the regression model stored as Y1 in the calculator, which stored all of the many decimals. If you were to use a rounded version, like what I have written here on the screen, you would probably get the wrong answer. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, but also if you found this video helpful, there's a lot more where that came from. You can click the upper link, which will take you to the whole unit playlist, or you can click the lower link, which will take you to the next video in the playlist. See you there.